Marines are also the small service. There are approximately 2,200 officers and 180,000 enlisted personnel on active duty in the Marines. The United States Army is the main ground force of the United States. The Army's main function is to protect and defend the United States and its interests by way of ground troops, armor, artillery, attack helicopters, tactical nuclear weapons, and other methods. The Army is the oldest U.S. military service, officially established by the Continental Congress on June 14, 1775. The Army is also the largest U.S. military service. There are approximately 83,000 officers and 429,000 enlisted members of the Army. The United States Coast Guard was originally established as the Revenue Carter Service in 1790. In 1950, it was reformed as the United States Coast Guard under the Treasury Department. Legislation passed in 2002 transferred the Coast Guard Department to the Department of Homeland Security. In peacetime, the Coast Guard is primarily concerned with law enforcement, boat safety, sea rescue, and illegal immigration control. However, the President of the United States can transfer part or all of the Coast Guard to the Department of the Navy in times of conflict. The Coast Guard consists of ships, boats, aircrafts, and shore stations that conduct a variety of missions. The Coast Guard is a small military service with about 42,000 personnel on active duty. School District, I would like to thank all veterans of the United States military for their service to our country. Your sacrifices and commitment to our freedom has helped make this country great and will never be forgotten. For the veterans in attendance today, thank you for sharing this celebration with us and making this day truly special. Morning. First of all, I want to say thank you to the high school for asking to see you today. You have a chance to represent so many great men and women. It's such an honor. And I can't say thank you enough. As Tom said, I'm a 2009 graduate of GCMS. I started hosting this ceremony a couple years after I graduated. And I was only able to attend last year's in addition to today. I just want to add that it's things like these that I think made Gibson City such a great community. The fact that everyone here is willing to take time out of their lives to honor people that you might not even know, it says a lot about your character, and it's something you should be proud of.
Stand up, Paul. Hey, you're my hero, buddy. Thank you. Served in the Coast Guard 1970-1971. I was on a ship in Detroit, Michigan, Lake Erie, and also a helicopter in Juneau, Alaska, as for search and rescue. Um, how has the war affected your life? In military wise or just general wise? When you say um, general. General? Is, I think it's been great. I still think all of our people should serve. It's a learning experience. Thank you. Cameron Siren. Uh, what did you do in the war? Or um, I was a radar technician okay. uh, and repaired test instruments. Uh, how has it affected your life? Uh, well, Marine Corps was, I think, is a really good uh, part of my life. It gave me some things that uh, have carried with me ever since. So I'm here with Darren Case. Darren, I have a question for you. Where did you serve? Um, I was in the Navy. I served on board the USS John F. Kennedy, an aircraft carrier. Just been retired. All right. Thank you for your service. Thank you. I'm here with Craig Sharp, and uh, Craig, I have a question for you. Where did you serve? I'm an National Guard, and I serve at uh, Lawrenceville, as well as part of South, uh, as an engineer. Uh, 